Hi folks and welcome back to the Owner Terms Land Network. This is Jesse Ivey and uh, we are back again and today we're going to talk about something that most people are pretty familiar with. Um, we're going to talk about credit cards. So uh, this is basically the name of this video is eight credit card mistakes to avoid. And so let's get familiar with this. Most people uh, you know, most people have credit cards. I mean, they at least have one usually, unless your credit's just awful and you, you can't get one. But most people do have credit cards. And you get credit card offers uh, in the mail, um, you know, from Visa, from MasterCard, from Home Depot, Macy's, Kohl's, uh, you name it, you get one. And, you know, you get all these opportunities, uh, and a lot of times they're uh, kind of misguided opportunities. It depends on really who owns the credit card. So uh, a lot of people, they get into trouble with credit, they get into trouble with credit cards, not knowing how to manage them, and they make a lot of mistakes, especially if you're uh, younger, uh, you know, like maybe you're in your 20s and you're just coming into the age where you're getting used to, uh, you know, Everything's new, you know, credit cards are new, it's a new way you can buy things, um, but it's kind of a catch-22 uh, in that, you know, you can also uh, really hurt your uh, credit score and uh, really get into a ton of debt with credit cards if you don't know what you're doing. Um, there are many people I've known over my life uh, who, who have just, uh, you know, they mismanage funds, uh, they, they, you know, do things they shouldn't do with their credit cards. Uh, you know, they get too many of them, and then that before long, they're filing bankruptcy because they can't pay their credit cards. They've got like 10 or 15 of them. And I'm not kidding. I've seen people that are just, you know, in dire straits because of the decisions that they've made having to do with credit. Credit's not for everybody. Some people can handle it. Some people can't. Um, you know, it just all depends on the person. And that's what you need to realize about credit is that credit is a tool. Credit cards are a tool. Um, and they are used by a lot of people. But uh, mainly, uh, you know, you have to use them responsibly or you can end up in a lot of trouble. So a lot of people don't understand that, especially a, a lot of younger folks. Some, some older folks get into trouble with it too. Maybe they've never experienced uh, credit card debt before or uh, how to use a credit card and that type of thing. Okay, so what credit card mistakes do people make? Um, basically, the first, number one, the first mistake that people make with credit cards is uh, they only make the minimum payment. So when you get a credit card bill, it comes in the mail, maybe it says, you know, this month, uh, you only have to pay $25, okay? But you have a balance on there already of $750, okay? So rather than making, you know, a larger payment on it, these people, uh, they just pay the minimum, $25 a month, okay? So that's what their minimum is. And then as time goes by, they usually run the credit card up more, uh, where their payment goes up more too. Uh, but the thing is, is that the interest uh, on the credit card is usually somewhere between 6 and 18%. Did I say 18%? Yes, I did. 18% it can go up to. And so when you have a balance on there and then, you know, you are monthly figuring that out on eight, you know, 18% or 12% or 10%, whatever it is, that's a lot of money that you're throwing away because of your credit card balance. So that's one thing that people do uh, is that they, you know, do that with their credit cards. They don't pay uh, more than what their normal payment is. Uh, they just make the minimal payment and then their credit um, continues, you know, their credit card continues to excel. And then before long, you have a problem because usually they max out their credit card and uh, basically that's number two. Number two we're gonna talk about. Uh, the, the second reason uh, is people max out their credit cards, okay? They, they max out their credit cards. So let's say I have a credit card, um, it's at 14%. Um, I went to Best Buy, I bought you know a few electronic items. You know, I went to Home Depot, I bought some stuff, whatever. And let's say my credit cards um, you know, went up to, it's like, $4,000 credit limit, okay? So 
whoops, you know, and I already, I already spent $4,000, okay? So I already spent $4,000, so now it's maxed out. So you basically, now my payment's gonna be probably 150 bucks a month, something like that, pretty close to that. Uh, so I got these items, these things, you know, I, th I thought I needed, but the bottom line is my credit card now is so high and the payment is so high and the interest is so high that even while I'm making my normal payment of $140 a month, uh, I'm not making much headway and it's gonna take me years and years and years to pay that off uh, because I maxed my credit card off. And the other thing is, so then next month, when I'm thinking about using my credit card, now I can't even use my credit card because I maxed it out. Um, you know, maybe $25, $35 has opened up because I just make my minimum monthly payment. Um, and so, you know, that's what's ridiculous. It's just like you max it out. So you're basically just, for the most part, you're paying on a dead horse now. You're, you, you've maxed your credit card out and you're paying on a dead horse. And that's what happens to a lot of folks who don't know how to use credit. They just max out their credit cards and uh, before long, they're paying on a dead horse, then maybe, you know, they get into financial trouble, can't make these payments before long, uh, you know, the credit card company says, that's it, you know, no more. So, uh, you know, they just cut you off and then you are paying on a dead horse. Okay, so number three is, uh, this one is really a doozy. People pay their credit card balance late. So what they do is the bills do, they, maybe they don't even open the statement up, you know, it just comes in, they don't even know when it's due, but maybe they do, okay? But it comes in on the on the 20th, you probably have a 10 day grace period. So, so they haven't paid their bill, it's $140 a month, and they haven't paid it, and now it's uh, the next month, it's on the third. And so you have a late fee, so it's about 30 bucks right there. Uh, then they're gonna report to the credit bureaus, uh, you know, to to basically say, hey, uh, you know, this guy didn't pay his credit uh, card bill on time, and so we're gonna dock him, you know, we're not happy, and he got a late fee. So then you, that affects your credit score. Uh, so that's not a good thing either, you know, these late fees, and you know, if this continues on before long, if you're too late, uh, they'll just, like I said, cut your, cut your credit card off. You know, they'll say, we're closing your balance and you just owe this amount. So that's another thing uh, people do with credit cards when they don't have the experience to use them really. So uh, you really have to watch that. You wanna make sure you open up your statements and you look to see exactly when your due date is so that you're not sitting there uh, making late payments all the time and then that docks your credit score. And then if you wanna go buy a house or something like that, you can't even do it because your credit score is so bad because you've been dinged a bunch of times. So that's something you wanna uh, keep an eye on. Okay, number four, number four. Another thing people do is they get too many credit cards. So let's let's just basically see. So so let's say, you know, I get a I get a Visa card and I have a Mastercard and I answered something to Macy's. So now I have a Macy's card. I have a Home Depot card. Um, you know, it just goes on and on. I got a Kohl's card, and I've seen this happen over and over and over again. And what people don't understand is when you open up all these credit cards, uh, this affects your credit score uh, dramatically. Because what happens is the credit bureaus look at these and they say, wow, you have all this credit available to you. Or maybe you've already maxed out these five credit cards and now you basically can't even uh, open up anymore or maybe you're, you've opened up a few more or you're applying. Every time you apply and, and you open up more of these credit cards, it just affects your credit score and not in a good way. It, it's, it affects it in a downward spiral because what happens is credit card companies, uh, you know, they report to credit agencies and credit agencies basically look at these, you know, the credit bureaus and they go, wow, you have so many, you know, you have too many credit cards, you know, I, that means you could go into debt really bad. So we're going to dock your credit score. And that's what happens. It happens to a lot of people. So uh, that's another thing that you want to be careful of uh, with credit cards is that you don't open up a bunch of credit cards. That's a big one. Okay, number five, number five. So another thing people do with credit cards, especially newbies that 
open credit cards is that uh, they skip a payment, you know, like with, with their credit card. So it's one thing to be late, but it's a whole other thing just to not make a payment. So what happens is they get late charges, uh, they skip a payment, uh, maybe they negotiate something with their creditor, the credit card company saying, hey, can I skip this payment? I just can't afford to make it. Regardless, it still shows up on their credit score in a negative way. And, and that's what people don't understand is even though your credit card company may be trying to help you if they negotiate something, they report it, credit bureau see it, that docks your credit score. So not a good plan at all. Number six, uh, credit uh, card companies, uh, they hand out credit to anybody pretty much as long as you have a, a, an okay credit score. I mean, I've seen people get credit cards who only had a 500 credit score. They still get them. Um, but credit card companies charge a lot of interest and that's something you want to be aware of when you are looking to open a credit card. You want to see how much interest is on there. Is it 4%? Is it 6%? Is it 12%? Is it 18%? There's credit card companies that charge 16, 18% on credit cards. I mean, it's like ridiculous. And then you put a full balance on there and you're paying a lot of money every month. And then if you have multiple credit cards, oh my gosh, you are paying. It's like you have another house. You know, if you had like, let's say you had $25,000 and, and five more cards, you know, you're probably paying 140 bucks a month. So, so it's like you have another house payment almost. And that's how people get into trouble with credit cards is that they don't really understand what they're doing. Okay, so number seven, number seven. A lot of people, they want the credit card, uh, but they don't read the fine print. So what does that mean? So there, do you even know what, like on your credit card, let's say you have a credit card and I'm talking to you. Let's say you have a credit card. Do you open it up and do you look at to see before you even sign the docs to say you're going to get this credit card? Do you even look to see, does it have an annual fee? You know, how much interest are they charging on this? You know, um, what are the late fees on this? Um, a lot of people fail to even look to see what exactly, uh, you know, their credit card company, you know, whether it's MasterCard, Visa, Home Depot, Kohl's, what, you know, what are they going to do if I miss a payment? What are they going to do if I'm late? What are they going to do? You know, they're going to report, you know, you need to open it up. You need to really do your research, you know, do some online research before you just sign up uh, for a credit card. Because if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, like with an annual fee, you know, maybe every year your credit card has a hundred dollar annual fee. If that's true, you're going to be paying that every year on your credit card. I mean, it's just billions. It just hits your account. Boom. I mean, I've had that happen to me and it's just like, you're like going, what? You know, I didn't know that, you know, when I was a young guy, the same way. It's just like, uh, you know, unexpected surprise and it's not a good surprise. Let me tell you. And finally, number eight, uh, this is a big one. Number eight, uh, on the uh, credit card uh, mistakes people make. Here's a good one. People take out cash on their credit card. Now, I don't understand why they do this, but sometimes I guess they just feel like they, you know, they got a bill or they just want the cash or whatever. So when you take out cash, it's going to add a, an extra 5% to whatever you're paying. So if you, so let's say you have a $5,000 credit uh, card. Let's say you have a MasterCard. And then you go and uh, you look on your balance or whatever, and you'll see an opportunity. And uh, it says you can take out uh, $2,000 in cash. Well, off the get-go, man, once you draw that $2,000 out, not only are you going to pay your normal fee on, you know, of the balance you took out, but you're going to pay an extra 5% for taking that balance out in the amount. So 5% on top of that, uh, you know, 2,000 bucks you just took out. And that's, that's just, you know, people get themselves in trouble uh, with credit cards, you know, using these methods that I've explained to you. You know, it's just, it, it's uncanny how people just do this over and over and over. And in my life, man, I've seen so many good people get into trouble with credit, with credit cards, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to control themselves. Uh, you know, it's just a really sad thing. So if this is you, suppose this is you, suppose I'm talking to you right now and this is you, or this is your brother, or this is your wife, or this is your Uncle Tom, I don't know. But if this is you, 
I'm talking to you. If this is you, you're like going, okay, Jesse, so you've told me all, all the, you know, all the mistakes people can make with credit cards. What do I do now? You know, how can I better my credit card experience for the future? What, what changes can I make? Well, to answer that question, we will be having a new video coming out in the near future that will answer how best to use credit cards and actually it's the practices I use in my own personal life. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and uh, also subscribe to our channel. And this is Jesse signing off from the Owner Terms Land Network.